Hi guys, my name is Haley, and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. Today we are going to be going over a resin hack that I learned to help me with doming and kind of my overall process of doming. So if you like to see resin tutorials or full resin pieces being made, then go ahead and click the subscribe button below. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial today. doming a piece I like to use liquid latex as a little bit of a protectant from any spillover any like excess resin that goes over the sides so I will go ahead and link the liquid latex that I use below but I spread a thick layer all over the back and then wipe it off of the sides and make sure that the back is completely covered with the liquid latex It'll take a little bit for this to dry because it's such a full layer, or such a thick layer, but it's definitely helpful. And then I also dome my pieces with my, res my full resin piece on a mold. The reason being is because if the resin drips over onto the mold, it's less likely to get caught underneath the piece or mess up the back of the piece. Once I've mixed my resin, I put it all over the piece and then I use my fingers to spread it everywhere because it gives me a little more control. And I make sure that I get every little crevice and all of the edges completely covered. If there's any excess, then I scrape it off with my finger and put it back into my mixing cup. Because if you have excess resin, then it's going to overflow off the sides and it could be potentially aesthetically unpleasing afterwards. So I really just make sure that there's an even coating and then you want to check, make sure that there's no fibers, no hairs, nothing like that on your piece. If there is, then you can go ahead and use a toothpick or a little plastic utensil, whatever you use to get those things out. And at this point, you can use your heat gun or your torch, but be really careful if you're using a torch because there's a silicone mold underneath and you can use that to get the bubbles out. Once you have made sure that all of the hairs or anything, any lint or bubbles are out of the domed piece and you clean off the sides, then you're going to go ahead and leave your piece on a level surface and come back in 24 hours to remove the liquid latex. You can use something sharp like a needle to poke a little hole in the liquid latex and then pull it off and you have your final piece. <laughs> 